Hey everybody, it's Moonbow here and welcome back to more Endless Scrap Mechanic. In today's video, we're going to be having a whole bunch of fun with these really ridiculous fans. Guys, look at my legs. I honestly can't take this video seriously when you see these wiggly little jelly legs bouncing around. But anyway guys, we are going to be checking out this really awesome fan. Now as you can see, we are bouncing around on a fan that is pointed straight up, but I have built a really cool wind tunnel to really test these things out. Alright, so I just need to get out of the seat here so I can quickly show you guys what is going on. Whoa. So yeah, we've got this really awesome wind tunnel here using those fans. Now we're going to be doing some different tests because I'm very curious about a few things with the wing mod and how they might interact with these fans. And of course guys, we are going to have loads of fun in the wind tunnel and seeing how powerful these fans really are. So let's get into the video. All right guys, so let me show you around my wind tunnel here. Now I'm really happy with this build. It is absolutely loads of fun. Now take a look at this guys. We're gonna shut the door behind us just like so and here we go. We've got ourselves some viewing chairs here if you wanted to kind of see. I mean, okay, this is actually not the best seat in house. Uh, we got some doors right here. Now these doors lead into the kind of like the danger zone. You don't want to be out there when those huge fans are blowing. Now this right here is our control station. So there's a few things going on that I'm going to explain in a little bit once we finish the tour uh, on how we control the fans and what they are capable of and the things that we can do in our testing. And now if we follow the wires all the way down this way, we can go through this door right here. Now we have a couple different areas. Now this here is extremely dangerous, guys. You do not want to be back here when these fans are on because, I mean, you can only imagine if you're on the wrong side of a fan and the fans turn on, uh, you can kind of see where I'm going with this, right? And then we just got to back up over those wires again, and this door right here brings you to our equipment room. So while we are in the equipment room, I'm going to quickly show you guys what is going on here. So I have these smart engines right here. Now the reason why I have smart engines is because I ended up having to create some makeshift fans. Now like you saw in the intro, guys, the fan blades weren't spinning, and that's because these fans are not really uh, fully developed, I think. They're rather experimental in the game, but nonetheless, they are loads of fun. So these smart engines are hooked up to these makeshift fans on the front. Now, what we can do from this area here at our control station is we can manually control the speed of the fans by pressing this arrow right here. So if we press the left arrow here, it's going to increase the speed of those motors by one at a time. And then we have the secondary one here, and that's going to ramp it up and turn them up by 10 at a time. And then the farthest one on the right here, this white switch, is the one that is going to turn it off and set these back to zero. Now another thing that I do have set up is warning alarm. So you can see up there guys we got a tote bot head there and in the other corner here there is another tote bot. So as soon as you activate the uh, entire fan system those things start screeching really loud just to make sure everybody knows what's going on. So I'm going to shut these doors back down again. Now there is some things that you can't really see that's going on here. Now the first thing I'm going to show you guys actually is let's go back through this door. Now these fans here you might have noticed these are on a slight angle and that's because they weren't quite as powerful as they thought they were going to be when you moved them horizontally. So outside there, guys, we were on it vertically. Uh, but like I said, once you transfer this energy down horizontally, they kind of lose that pep. But of course, I did find a solution to that, guys. So let's open up these doors right here. Take a look at this, guys. We got some nice glass doors here. Now, this is kind of like where I had to get a little creative with the build. Now, as you can see, underneath these floor pieces here we have some more hidden fans and clearly as you can see there are a whole bunch of fans but i'm going to be completely honest with you guys if i take my connection tool out you're going to notice something rather funny here now these bottom ones you can see these are hooked up to something over there but all the other ones on top aside from these uh, uh smart engine fans they aren't hooked up to anything at all and the reason for that is because these are just so laggy guys you can only imagine the physics that are coming out of these things when you turn them on so having this many of them in a wall i realized very quickly uh, that it's not a feasible thing to do so i decided to just completely unhook them and obviously i'm going to leave them there just so that it looks really cool uh, but so these fans they just weren't that strong like i mentioned so i ended up hiding some underneath now i can probably just kind of 
break a quick hole right here and hop here. Okay, there we go. So now you can see there are some fans under here that are hidden and also turned on an angle. So these angled fans are for a few different things. Now I'm going to try and hop back out of here. So as I was saying, the main reason for these fans was actually to make the funniest effect of them all because one thing I really wanted to do guys was get up to these fans here and then have it blow me all the way across to the other side of the room. But unfortunately, they just weren't powerful enough even when I tilted these these ones as well. So what I ended up doing was hiding them underneath there and if you go up to the front here this front one will push you back onto these ones here and then these ones kind of create a chain reaction that keeps on launching you farther and farther back. Now you can see I had to create these really weird slits in the floor and the reason why I did that was because you have to actually let the air through. If you don't have holes in the floor whatsoever then the air does get blocked and you won't get blown away. So that's basically how the entire thing works. Now there are some things that we are going to be able to test as well. So here is one thing. We have ourselves a really awesome missile that we're going to be doing some aerodynamics testing with there. We also have a wing all the way up there that is stowed away so we can bring that down as well to do some wing tests. And and over here guys we do have another thing that we can test look at this we have ourselves a vehicle ramp so you can drive whatever vehicle you can fit into this little area here onto the main floor and do some wind tunnel testing with that as well and actually guys I do have a vehicle back here it is my f1 race car we are gonna be bringing that in to do a little bit of testing with this alright so it's time to shut this main garage door we're gonna go back through our safety glass doors here as well and we're gonna do a little bit of testing so I'm gonna start off with this rocket right here guys we're gonna do a little bit of aerodynamics testing with that then we'll move on to the wings there maybe bring the vehicle in and then we're gonna just have some fun as our little mechanic here in the wind tunnel as well uh, now I would not suggest that you do anything like this in a wind tunnel because uh, these are train mechanics guys and everything is under control here all right so like I mentioned earlier guys this is our display for the speed of the fans. Now, I didn't say it earlier, but these things here are all set up to control the wing testing up there. Now, we'll get to that in a moment. Now, I do have a seat block right here that we can get into, and this is ideal because we have everything hooked up that we need to to do some of these missile tests. Now, it is good to have that seat to do the missile tests, but I do actually enjoy turning these fans on from the manual switches here. So here we go, guys. I'm going to crouch down. We're going to get a nice view of those fans turning on in three two, one. Here we go. Oh, it's so loud. The warning horn. And so there you go, guys. Look, you can see that we are ramping up the speed of the fans. Now, if we turn that one off and switch over to the red one, look at that. Now we are increasing it by 10 at a time, which is clearly a lot faster. And there we go, guys. We have these fans spinning extremely fast. Everything is good to go. And it is time for some testing. All right, here we go, guys. So we have the missile mounted to a bearing right now. And look at this. You can see that the wind tunnel is having its effect on the missile. Now, what I've done is I've hooked up an electric motor to the missile so we can actually control these surfaces and change the wind property. So here we go, guys. Look at this. As I change it, you can see the missile changing angles as well. So let's bring it all the way back around. Look at this. Okay, now it's making it point down really far. Do you see? I'm going to zoom in here so you guys can see it a little bit better. But as I turn it down like this, you can see the missile starts pointing up. And then when I turn it back over this way, the missile points down again. Now this is where things get interesting and this is where the experiments start. So as you can see, I'm changing this with the electric motor and look, it's actually changing the way the missile is moving. But I have to wonder guys, let's turn it off here. Is it because it's the wing mod or is it because there is just a simple block there? All right, there we go. So I've just added some of those all the way around and that's pretty much balanced. So yeah, so we've got these hooked up to the electric motor and now it's time to run the test again and see if anything is different. All right, so I am going to ramp up these fans once again. There we go. All right, so this is test number two with the rocket. So we had the wing mod attached to it before, and now we're going to start running this test with no wing mod, and let's see if anything changes. So here we go, guys, in three, two, one. We're moving it. Okay, it's kind of pointing up a little bit. Flatten it out, and look at this. Okay, yeah, so this is actually changing the properties of the missile as well. So it is confirmed though that it doesn't matter if it's a wing mod or if it's just a surface block, it doesn't matter. It's gonna make it change its properties no matter what. All right, so we're gonna turn this off again here. Now I gotta say guys, this thing might not be safe for all computers 
I can definitely hear my computer complaining when I turn on those fans, and that's why I turn them off every time we do this. So the wing test was the first thing that I did set up to test these fans, and now that we've confirmed that the wing mod doesn't matter, as long as it's some type of surface that's not too heavy, the fans are going to blow it around and move it, but uh, nonetheless, we're going to do this anyway, so here we go. I'm just going to remove this wire right there, like so. So we've got a few different things that we can control here. Now, one thing that I've set is the angle of the wing. That's right, so here we can change the angle. Now look, I made a little indicator here as well, just to make this a little bit more like a control station. But look at this, we can control the angle of the wing just like that and we'll be able to see if that changes the properties of this little suspended piece here. All right, so here we go, guys. We are going to turn these back on. There we go, look at that. Wow, you can see the wing get affected by it immediately. All right, so this is what I'm talking about, though, guys. This is science experiments with those fan mods. Here we go, so I'm gonna try and angle the fan a little bit. Look at this, so we can angle it down like that, and you can see it actually changing. You know what, we can actually just spin around in a complete circle, and look at this. You can see the way it changes on the wing mod. I love that having certain surface areas facing those fans actually changes the properties of the way it's affected in the world. All right, so I'm sure you can kind of like imagine, you know, the wing as we change it, it's cutting through the air. Like, as you can see right here, it kind of cuts through the air. It drops down a little bit, and then if we kind of bring it back down, look at that. You can see it just kind of pops right back up again. And this is really cool. I mean, we can do all sorts of things with this fan, but I thought this would be a pretty fitting way to do it. Now, like I mentioned though, guys, it really doesn't matter if it is the wing mod there suspended. It's just going to act the same way no matter what because of the forces being sent out from the fan. Now, okay, we're going to turn this off here one more time, and I think we're going to try and get a vehicle in here. Sorry, we're going to be... Very careful here, guys. We just gotta... Okay, you know what? I had a feeling this was gonna happen. We have to kind of scrape the front of the car. Oh, man. Whoever paid to have this thing shipped here is gonna kill me. Okay, scrape the bottom. And there we go. We are now going up into the fan area. Now, look at this, guys. This looks absolutely awesome, doesn't it? Even if these fans don't really mean that much, they're just a little modded thing. I love what we've designed here guys this whole wind tunnel testing thing it just looks so cool all right guys so now it is time for the formula one wind tunnel test here we go in three two one turn it on there goes the siren the fans are ramping up we're gonna ramp it up even faster there they go look they're spinning faster and faster and Nothing is really happening. Okay, hold on guys. I just realized something. Let's go into this area here I have turned okay. Yeah, I just want to make sure I've turned those fans off guys This is real dangerous here, and I just remembered so we might have to actually disconnect These engines from those wheels just like so and hopefully that will give us some type of cool movement now Let's see what's gonna happen now. I, I obviously don't think we're gonna really experience much as far as aerodynamics of a vehicle goes But I still think we might see something kind of cool. So here we go guys We're just gonna ramp it up just like that and there it is look. Oh wow. Look you can see it the car It's slowly moving. Oh man guys. This is actually really cool. Just look at this. We got the fans blowing the car is slowly rolling away. And you know what? I think it's just gonna kinda keep on going real slow here. Now, the reason why I did hide those fans under there was not only because I needed to be able to throw the mechanic around in here, but it's also just to kinda create this long form effect of these fans. Because when you're in the front of the fan uh, and it blows you away, it really doesn't blow you that far. All right, so we're gonna turn this off here, guys. We are gonna get rid of the F1 car. Clearly, you can see that it's either really heavy, or maybe it's actually just so aerodynamic that it didn't matter. Okay, I just remembered I disconnected everything. Now, you think doing all of these fun tests is actually a lot of fun, but guys, I gotta be honest with you, it is a lot of hard work here, a lot of manual labor. Look at this, we gotta move this car around all on our own. All right, there we go, we've got it onto the ramp. And it's rolling down, and look at this, alright, perfect. Oh, oh, oh yeah, that's right, I just scraped the front again. Alright guys, so now it is time for our little mechanic here to break all the rules. We're gonna go through the double doors, we're gonna leave them open actually, and go through them while the wind tunnel is on. So here we go guys, let's turn our fans on, there's the alarm. Alright, ramp it up, ramp it up even faster. We want these really, really fast, even though it actually 
<laughs> it doesn't really matter. Okay, there we go. We've got the fans blowing super strong speeds. Okay, let's try and get in here. Oh, man, guys, look at this. Oh, I don't even know, guys. Okay, I'm just going to stay on this white line. Now, I think if we stay on this white line here, we are pretty safe. Okay, there we go. Now, this is where I think, okay, maybe not right there. The fans are going to start taking into effect. There it is. The fans are blowing us right around here. Now, look at this, guys. We could try and run towards the fan. And look, they're actually blowing us away from the wall. We can't even get to them. Now, you can actually sprint towards them. Uh, now, this is actually kind of like some type of weird treadmill, isn't it? All right, so now we can kind of pretend, though, that these fans are slowly getting faster and faster, and there's nothing we can do. And eventually, you can just kind of let go. And look at this, guys. <laughs> The things will blow you all the way to the other end extremely fast. You know what, actually, let's open up the garage here. I wonder if it's going to eject us out the back. Okay, here we go. We're going to run up to the front right there. Let go and let it see what happens. Oh, oh, actually, okay, well. All right, we did technically go out of the building. All right, so now I want to actually see what this looks like from the third person. Look at this. It looks so ridiculous when you're running, but let's try and just go over top. There it is. And wow, okay, so it, it really seems like it blows you over all three of them at once. Now, I think if you kind of go there, yeah, look, there it is. It's kind of like a certain frequency to these fans. They'll blow you so far away. Uh, but look, you, sometimes, like, you can see it'll kind of just slide you on the ground as well. Now, I think having all of these little holes in the ground has really affected the way the fans work. If they were fully exposed, it would be better, but I did want to try and hide them a little bit. So you can imagine, though, being inside of this thing, and, like, maybe, like, the switch to turn all of these fans off was at the other end here, and you had to, like, try and sprint through these wind tunnels. Okay, hold on. I can't even get through these ones. So the ones on the angle underneath, guys, they're so strong that you can't even get over them and that obviously has something to do with the fact that they're angled up and they kind of blow you up and away instead of just flat now that's what i tried to do here like i mentioned uh, but even then that wasn't enough because i was thinking that those fans right there you'd be able to like kind of hop in front of them and then they would just kind of blow you away and i mean you can even actually sprint right to them and then let go right there like that and that's that's really not that exciting so i did have to improvise just a little bit all right, guys, so that is going to be today's episode of Scrap Mechanic Creations. Now, I want to hear from you. Do you guys have any ideas for a future build that will utilize these really cool modded fans? If you have any ideas, then let me know down in the comments below, and I'll see what I can do. Now, guys, if you did enjoy this build or the video, then let me know by hitting that like button. And, guys, if you want to tune in for more endless Scrap Mechanic, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and maybe even turn on some notifications so you can get the latest and the craziest coming from me in Scrap Mechanic. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll be seeing you in the next one, so bye for now.